Hello, I'm Adam Barrile and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of balsam fir. Now, balsam fir is a fir that is native to North America and there the fragrance that the tree emits has become rather popular and well loved and has made it a very big choice when it comes to the Christmas tree. Now, this is a generous essential oil tree because it doesn't give us one but two different essential oils. When we think of fir essential oils, we often think of essential oils coming from the needles or the leaves or the trees. However, although we can get that from balsam fir, it also gives us another essential oil from the bark. Now the trunk of these trees is particularly interesting. When the trees are young, they're very smooth and clear. But as it gets older and ages, resin will come to the surface and kind of rupture and causing all these kind of bumps and ripples almost akin to how our skin when we're young it's all perfect and you know nice and clear and as we get older we start to get those you know the wrinkles and the laugh lines and what <laughs> nicknames you want to give them and that type of thing as well now this essential oil the bark essential oil is what we're going to explore in this video and hopefully i'm going to share some different ways that you can use this incorporate this into your life that will benefit your body but also your emotions your mind and your spirit so let's dive in and explore a little bit about balsam fir bark oil. You'll find the aroma of balsam fir bark oil, even though it's not from the leaves like other fir oils that we typically know are, it still has that beautiful uplifting and fresh aroma. Now there are two main ways that I like to use balsam fir essential oil when it's come from the bark. The first one, I find it really good for the respiratory system. So. I, especially at night, you know, the way we breathe during the night is really important, so I love to have it in my nighttime diffuser. But also during the day, it's lovely to have in the diffuser just to help you relax and breathe in that fresh air as well. So having that in the diffuser is just really good for the respiratory system. Um, you can also mix it with a bit of fractionated coconut oil or another carrier and rub that over your chest, and that can be really beneficial. Now, while you're giving yourself a rub-a-dub-dub -dub over the chest, go anywhere else that's really sore as well, because I find balsam fur is really good for achy muscles and joints and so on. So whether it be, you know, you've been over a computer or a desk all day, you need to rub your shoulders and your neck, or whether any other part from you, you know, living life to the fullest is a little bit sore, mix again that balsam fir with the carrier oil and rub that in and that'll allow you to feel a nice relief and you're gonna smell fresh as a forest as well. So those are my two main ways that I really love to use this oil in my diffuser to support the respiratory system and on my body for aches and pains. Have you heard of Shinrin Yoku or forest bathing? Now this is a scientific study of the benefits that humans receive from going out into nature and spending time there. Now one of the things that has been found is that in forests and places where there are a lot of natural vegetation and trees, that there is a lot of alpha pinene in the air. Alpha pinene is also found in the essential oil of balsam fir. And so when we can't go forest bathing or Shinrin Yoku, we can have that environment at home. We can create that serenity, that tranquility, and that type of atmosphere. It's not the, you know, it's not exactly the same, but it's a pretty good substitute when we can't get out there. Do you know what I mean? So when you're feeling stressed, if it's gonna be a big day, when you just need to kind of calm down a bit more, then popping this oil of balsam fur in your diffuser and relaxing and breathing it in can be really nice. If you don't have a diffuser, a drop in the hands and breathe it in, or again, rubbing it on the chest, it's gonna benefit the respiratory system but it will calm the mind as well. So this is a really nice way of helping to relax the mind and get a really quite calming effect using this beautiful essential oil. Balsam fir has some amazing spiritual properties. And in fact, it really helps us to take advantage of the natural environment and the power and the lessons that the natural environment teaches. In fact, all furs are associated with the god Pan. And basically, he fell in love with a, a beautiful nymph by the name of Pliny. Now, Pliny um, wasn't to be with him in the end. It was a few unfortunate happenings, but to preserve her body, he actually turned her into the fir tree. Now, Pan being the god of wilderness, the wild, and being who we truly are and embracing who we truly are, that energy really comes through into this tree. And thus, the essential oils that we get from Siberian fir, Douglas fir, white fir, silver fir, Himalayan fir, and, of course, our balsam fir. So on a metaphysical point of view, how can we work with this different essential oil? Well, as we get older, we face different challenges. And, you know, 
sense. Maybe we feel less attractive, less desirable, but we have more wisdom. You know, whatever, wherever we are in the aging process, whether it be something like puberty, uh, menopause, you know, changing jobs, realizing that you're not as young as you used to be, whatever those types of things are, we can either, you know, struggle with that or we can work with that. Balsam fir is really great for allowing us to see that everything in nature has a cycle, has an age, has a role to play, and is just as important. You know, we need small trees, we need young people, but we also need the big trees as well in the forest. You have that whole ecosystem and life and death and rebirth happening all the time, and that's what's happening for us as well. So whenever it comes to embracing any cycles of life, whether it be the beginning of something or the ending of something or just you reaching a new stage, this is where balsam fir can really help us to deal with this and to uh, handle it gracefully and easily. In fact, when it comes to any type of healing, you know, often we think, oh, healing is traumatic, it's dragging up this rubbish and that type of thing. No, it doesn't have to be. With balsam fir, being a bark oil, it's still quite grounding, yet refreshing, and it will help you to tackle any transition in your life. If you're shifting jobs, if you're changing relationships, if you're moving city, or if you're doing any inner work and bringing different things up, then balsam fir is going to allow you to do this with poise, with ease, with grace in that type of way. It's really, really nice for just helping you flow and accept. So especially, I, I love balsam fir, especially for maybe older women that are feeling less relevant or maybe less desirable and that type of thing. This is a great oil to aromatically dress in or diffuse to really help to boost how you feel about yourself and realize that yes, okay, we may not have the energy or the vitality of the young, but as we get older, we have the wisdom. Everyone has something to offer and something to be proud of and something to share. The other thing that I love balsam fir essential oil for is being a bark oil Bark oils help us with our boundaries and our armoring. If you think about a bark on a tree, you can see the tree behind me with all the bark kind of peeling off it. That is its armor. It's what protects it. It's like its skin. Now, metaphysically, an armor helps with our boundaries. And balsam fir can help us to feel comfortable with other people and to have the right type of boundary. Now, we can sometimes have armor that is way too thick and we come across detached, uninterested, or emotionally cold. We definitely don't want to do that. Maybe we've become like that because we're scared of being hurt. But working with balsam fir, this big, strong, wire tree, can actually help us to lessen that armor and be a bit more open to other people. I'll talk a bit more about that with the chakra in just a second. Now, the other thing that can happen, we can have too thick an armor, but we can also have too thin an armor, where we become really susceptible and vulnerable to other people around us. When someone's in a bad mood, we get dragged down really quickly, or events don't go our way, that upsets us, or someone says something nasty, even as a joke, and it drags us down, and we end up getting pulled into other people's business and get detracted off our own path. And again, balsam fur can help you to have a bit more of a thicker armor, let people have their opinions, but better shake that off like a water off a duck's back and keep moving on as well. So this is a really nice way to work with balsam fur to kind of aromatically dress in yourself, visualize having a protective armor on you, but one that allows good to come in and allows you to still be in contact with the world, but not too in contact that you end up getting depleted or dragged down or drained by other people. Beyond the seven main chakras of the base to the crown, there are extra chakras that have been kind of come to our consciousness or our awareness over the last few decades. There are ones that go above the head and then there are ones that go below our feet, connecting us with greater experiences, greater beings and more on this planet and beyond. So the fir trees overall, I find are really good for working with these chakras and a lot of the leaf oils, so like balsam fir leaf, oil or Siberian or white fur and that type of thing. Really good for these higher chakras. But the bark oil, balsam fur bark oil, which we're exploring in this video, really good for the lower chakras. And especially one known as the earth star chakra. So the earth star chakra is about 30 centimeters below your feet. It resonates with kind of an infrared or maybe a, a deep maroon or brownie red kind of color if you want to visualize this ball of light. Now, whereas your base chakra is just associated with you and your ability to thrive in this world and to feel safe and secure and that your basic um, physical needs are met, the Earth Star Chakra goes a little bit deeper. It's about your connection. It's your connection to the Earth, uh, to connection to every other man and woman on this planet, everyone in the animal kingdom, so all the different animals and feeling, you know, connected to them. 
to the plant kingdom as well, as well as the mineral kingdom. So that one and all kind of conservation and awareness of the earth and being more aware of that. Now, the great thing about that is, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, as you work with your earth star chakra and feel that connection, there can be no one else around, but you can still feel close to people. You've, you've got that connection. I may not be surrounded by humans, but I'm surrounded by kin. There's a duck swimming around in his waterway and there's all the trees around. So you never feel lonely. You feel more connected. And as you feel more connected, you are also more aware of your footprint on this earth. So you are environmentally friendly. You're conscious. You make green decisions and so on. This is where balsam fir can really help. So it can help you to feel more courageous, more comfortable on this planet, uh, more able to face any fears, and definitely counteract any feelings of loneliness as well. So what you can do is you can make a mist and spritz it around and then visualize having that um, energy center down below you and that, see that kind of thriving and feeling those roots growing into the earth and that connection and you know, your heart beating, the heartbeats of everything else on this planet. You can also anoint it on the soles of your feet, this oil, and find that connection to the earth really, really strengthened just by standing on the earth bare feet with balsam fur on the soles of your feet. So this is an amazing opportunity to feel more connected to the planet Earth by using this balsam fir essential oil. I just adore the aroma of balsam fir essential oil, but if you don't want to have it just by itself or you want to play around with different ideas, then try making some really nice blends. So it blends beautifully with any of the other big tree foresty oils. So things like cypress can be really nice, uh, juniper berries can be nice, any of the other furs like Siberian fur or um, Douglas fur. And if you want to make like a real kind of foresty into the woodlands kind of aroma, bring in some earthy ones, maybe something like galbanum or vetiver would be really nice. Now, if I've kind of tickled your interest on this earth star chakra, other oils that can be really good for helping with that can be things like vetiver, spiked nard, uh, and black pepper could be an interesting one. So try mixing them and you can even make that into a rollerball and roll that on your feet. Now, one thing I've found the furs blend really well with for a really uplifting aroma, especially if you kind of want to feel a bit more joyous, happy and open um, and kind of improve your mood, try mixing furs. So like your Siberian fur with your citruses. So the, whether that be orange or grapefruit or lime or mandarin or any of these types of oils can really help to lift the mood. So a really nice one for setting the stage at home for the day that you're going to be open to whatever life brings and you're going to embrace it. Exactly what balsam fir helps us to do as we go through the different changes and cycles of our life. When I'm working with essential oils, I love to bring in other gifts of nature to really enhance whatever I'm doing. So when I'm working with balsam fir, the crystal that I reach for is a cool one called Silver Sheen Obsidian. So I'm not sure if you can see, there's like a little silver sheen where the light's catching here. And this is a volcanic glass that's had oxygen bubbles get caught in it. And so as it reflects in the sun, you get this beautiful silver sheen. Now you can get gold sheen and rainbow sheen where it has gold or different colors in there as well. But the silver sheen I find has a real kind of divine feminine energy and almost a bit of a crone or wise woman energy about it as well. That duck keeps swimming around and distracting me. <laughs> anyway, this is a really great one. As I said before, balsam fir helps us go through those different stages of aging and to feel comfortable with each age bracket that we're in and the life changes that are happening to our body, but also to our abilities and our, our life in general and what that means. This really helps us to feel empowered about that, especially from our magical sense, our own intuitive sense and trust that we're always feeling, I guess, always feeling that we're in control of our lives. If you think obsidians are formed from this volcano, which has this power inside and brings this energy up and brings it out to the world. And so by working with any kind of obsidian, but silver sheen is great in this instance, it helps us always tap into whatever inner power we need to do whatever we need to do in that time. Now, I also like to look to the animal kingdom for guidance as well. Now, I'm sorry, duck, but it's not duck that I go to when I'm working with balsam fur, but pig. Pigs, again, what do we think when we see pig? Oh, they're a bit of an ugly animal. No, but well, they, they are, but they, they represent good fortune, good luck, and all those different things that, you know, balsam fur can bring as we embrace the opportunities that come with each of life cycles or wherever we are in those cycles. Pigs also teach us you know, they're known for sniffing things out. They've got that really strong sense of smell. And so pigs can really help you to sniff out the opportunities and to sniff out the advantages in life wherever you are in that life or whatever stage you are in life as well. 
astrologically, then I would really find that this works really, really well with the asteroid pan. So maybe jump on some astrology charts and find out where pan was when you were born and what that could possibly mean. But overall, this can really help you to, um, I guess, kind of connect with uh, the energy of, you know, the wilderness and the wild and being who you truly are and embracing who you truly are. So I'd love to know if you've worked with balsam fir bark oil or the leaf oil and what experience you've had from that. If you've got any great blends or if you've had experiences with one of the chakras or something like that, then please share with our, our nature loving community and leave a comment in the section below. Now remember when it comes to essential oils, not all essential oils are the same because around the world there's no ruling or legislation governing the labeling of essential oils. So you want to look really carefully to make sure that you're getting something that's actually gifted to us from the plant and not made in a laboratory. If you need some guidance helping yourself to find some pure essential oils, then please reach out to me and I'm more than happy to help you out with that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.